Hello, dear friends. Welcome to your astrology horoscope for February the 10th through the 16th. This week, we have two major, very important events. First of all, Mercury returns retrograde. Congratulations to all of us. This is a great time to revisit old stuff, to fix something that hasn't worked very well for us, and generally to make a reassessment of our lives. As usual, Mercury will be retrograde for three weeks, and there are also some things we have to be prepared about. Things we shouldn't start, things we should try to avoid, and of course, other stuff which would be appropriate and actually positive to focus on. Mercury will be retrograde only in Pisces, only in this time. And overall, this is not a comfortable position for Mercury. This is a position which is all about creativity, imagination, and just focus on more on the invisible stuff. Generally, that's not the main area of expertise for Mercury. So it's strange, it's unfamiliar, but at the same time, it may really allow us to focus on our inner self, our own needs, amazing time also for healing, for reconnecting to your needs, and also working on potential past trauma or pain in your life that needs to be healed. That's just what the Pisces energy brings. It's about spiritual healing. It's about reflection, reconnection to your inner self. And when Mercury is retrograde in this particular sign, you may also be able to look deeper into yourself, to realize what needs to be forgotten or forgotten, sorry, or left in the past or something you might need to work on. So generally, this is a great time for retrospection, for healing yourself, for reconnecting to your inner self or even your higher self and just letting things flow around you. On the other side, there are things that should be avoided and these are mostly related to brand new things that you would like to start. New business, important contracts, uh, applying to a new job position. Overall, it's not the best period for that. At the same time, you have to also to be prepared for surprises, for things which you haven't really planned. I remember, I believe the last time when Mercury was retrograde, I have purchased a book from Canada here to be delivered to Europe. And um, while Mercury was retrograde, I received an email that they actually found a closer location in Hungary. So they would send me the copy of the book sooner than expected. And they will also refund me part of the money. So sometimes Mercury retrograde can bring us some positive surprises as well. Something that you haven't expected or something from the past which you can remember. Also very important opportunity to restart all things. Things you have forgotten about, things that didn't work very well, or maybe you didn't have enough time or friends that you haven't met for a long time. Even relationships can be restarted. So overall, the focus is on the past, reevaluating, potentially restarting something, but also fixing something. Let's say that you have worked on something, you were in a lot of rush and you have to complete it in some way. Okay, so now when Mercury is retrograde, you might be able to slow down a little bit go back, revisit, find maybe there are some mistakes or things that you haven't really evaluated correctly, fix them. Mercury retrograde is amazing for that. Also, Mercury retrograde in Pisces is great time for self-healing. And this is the reason why I decided to start a brand new program. This would be a group coaching program, which is called Breaking Up With Anxiety. We start on the 15th of February. So if you want to join us, it will be the last chance for you to do that because the group is limited and we start on the 15th of February. This program will allow you 
to focus more on self-healing, on overcoming challenges with anxiety, panic attacks, negative thinking, and other emotional challenges which you might be experiencing. Okay, so the other major event during this week is the ingression of Mars in Capricorn. This position of Mars is actually very strong. Mars is exalted in Capricorn, which can allow us to be more disciplined, to be more organized, to put some kind of structure, to follow it. And one of the best qualities of this position is that it can allow us to be more consistent. One thing which is not typical for this position on the other side is taking risks. Even though Mars in Capricorn is very strong, this is the exalted position, there is something which is missing, something of the typical Mars qualities. And this is the ability or the desire to take risks. And uh, of course, in many cases, this is very reasonable. It allows us to be more cautious, to evaluate things before we start something new. So overall, this combination, Mars in Capricorn with Mercury retrograde, first of all, requires from us to be more cautious, to be more patient, not to rush things too much, and also not to take unnecessary risks. At the same time, Mars in Capricorn is great for business, for hard work, for consistent effort in certain direction, for creating some kind of organization at work or related to the tasks you want to achieve. And of course, this would be very empowering for the Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Those are the signs we can feel especially motivated in the following couple of months to do something, to be more independent, to be proactive. The water signs will also experience some interesting impact and opportunities to change something, to be provoked, to take action. So overall, next couple of weeks will be quite interesting. And with that being said, we can now move to the daily part of our analysis. And of course, we begin with Monday. On Monday, we have a creative aspect between the Sun in Aquarius and Uranus in Taurus. This aspect may allow you to make changes, something new, something exciting, to experiment, to be more original about the solutions you have to take, you have to find, or the tasks you need to accomplish. And also, this is a great aspect for some group projects or social projects. On Monday also, there is a positive aspect between Venus in Aries and Uranus in Taurus again. This aspect on the other side can bring variety, excitement when it comes to emotional stuff. Relationships, close people around us, how we communicate or what do we plan to do together. Just amazing aspect for trying new things, for focusing on exciting activities, and overall just enjoying the communication. Another aspect also on Monday, and again, positive aspect between Mars in Sagittarius and Saturn in Capricorn. This aspect can allow us to be more disciplined, organized, to put some kind of structure, to follow through, to really accomplish the things that we have scheduled for the day and overall to be more organized. The moon in Virgo on Monday also supports that. Better organization, better structure, more precision, more focus on details and overall focus on work and practical things. Moving to Tuesday now, first of all, we are going to have the moon in Virgo most of the day until 7 p.m. So this position is very beneficial for precise work, for organizing things, for being really 
focused on the small things we have to accomplish, detail orientation. In the moon, we have two very positive aspects with Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn. This can allow you to be more motivated, to be more organized, but also more passionate about the things that you would like to achieve. The moon with Pluto also brings more power, more confidence and overall higher motivation. With Saturn, we also have the structure, the discipline, the order. So Tuesday can be actually quite productive. The major challenging aspect of the day is the square between the moon and Mars. And uh, the challenge here is that we might be more impulsive or impatient or possibly also confronting other people. But if we use the energy in a constructive way, this is another aspect that can motivate us to do something, to take action, and even to take certain risks. Around the evening after 7 p.m. Eastern time, the moon ingresses in Libra, so the atmosphere will be kind of more romantic around us. It would be a great time for dates, for spending time with other people, and just finding more peace and harmony. Wednesday comes with another exciting aspect between Venus in Aries and Pluto in Capricorn. Creative aspect which can allow us to make certain shifts. When it comes to relationships, when it comes to emotional stuff or creative projects we might be having, in business also, we may find that we wanna change our focus, that our desires have changed as well. Business negotiations may also be quite interesting, but at the same time, kind of unpredictable. Keep that in mind. On Wednesday, there is also a minor challenging aspect between Mercury and Saturn. This aspect allows or actually requires more discipline, better structure. We might feel some kind of resistance or something we have to overcome or even some kind of blockages when it comes to planning or communicating or following through on our tasks and goals especially related to business. So keep that in mind. On the other side, we have another positive aspect between the Sun in Aquarius and Pluto in Capricorn. Very empowering aspect, which can make you very extra motivated and confident and focused on certain goals, especially business related goals or about social projects, community projects as well. And the transit moon is in Libra on Wednesday, which puts the focus on relationships and partnerships and close communication with other people. On Thursday, the moon in Libra will have a couple of aspects. The challenging ones are squares with Saturn and Pluto. So there could be some blockages, some kind of restrictions we have to respect or we may need to overcome. Pluto can also make us extra focused to the point that it's like too much. We might dramatize certain things, especially in relationships or in business. So keep that in mind, not to you know, overreact. And at the same time, we have the supportive aspect between the moon and the sun. This is one of the overall most positive aspects because those are the two most important objects, the most important planets we analyze. And when they are in harmonious connection, we may feel like, okay, we can express ourselves or the world or other people are there to notice us, to appreciate us. And it's very helpful to have this support of the sun combined with the other aspects of Saturn and Pluto. So, Overall, Thursday can be challenging in some way, but at the same time, quite productive. And we might feel able to express something important and to do something which is more focused on us and our own desires. Friday is also quite intense. This is the day when the moon will be in Scorpio. 
And I have talked about this many times. My personal feeling and understanding is that the moon in Scorpio is in the most challenging position. This allows us to dive deeper into something, to explore, to research, to be extra focused on something. But the challenge is that we may dramatize or we might exaggerate the importance of something. At the same time, there is an opposition with Uranus, which can allow you to make drastic changes, to try something new. But the risk is that there might be something unpredictable and even kind of stressful. So Friday can be emotionally intense and bringing some kind of unexpected shifts. On Saturday, the 15th of February, the moon is in Scorpio. So lots of intensity, focus on serious stuff. At the same time, the positive moment here is that we can transform something. The Scorpio moon is great for healing, for energy practices, for exploration, diving deeper into something. And this is also one of the reasons why we start our program, Breaking Up With Anxiety, specifically on this day. It will allow us to go deeper, to understand our motivation, and even to heal something. The other aspects on Saturday, Quintile between Venus and Saturn, allowing us to change something, especially on an emotional level. Maybe define some new rules or work on our boundaries or understand better the principles, how our emotions are triggered or how we can change them, how we can shift them. This is also one of the topics of the program, but even if you're not part of this program, just concentrate on the things that you can change, things that you can control. The positive aspect of the day is between the sun and Saturn, aspect which can help you to be extra focused, more concentrated, but also more disciplined and organized. So it's Saturday, but for many of us, it could be a day to take care of some work or other responsibilities. And finally, Sunday, which is actually the day of the week, which brings the biggest changes, the biggest shifts, the most important events are happening on Sunday. Mercury, which turns retrograde, and we kind of talked about it. Three weeks, the next three weeks are about self-reflection, healing the past, fixing something from the past, being more careful with future projects or starting up new things. Mars ingressing in Capricorn also allows you to be more structured, more patient, hardworking, and disciplined. And another shift on Sunday is that the moon will be in Sagittarius. Sagittarius, which is the sign of growth and expansion and success and opportunities. So we might feel quite optimistic and positive on Sunday with so many shifts around us. But keep in mind that on Sunday, Mercury will be also stationary. The day of the shift of Mercury is more specific. So you might be able to go deeper into your own perceptions, your own ideas, and to gain some important insights. So I would highly recommend you to find some time for a meditation, both on Saturday and Sunday. It would be amazing time to kind of feel better yourself, the connection with the inner self, and also what would you like to change or how you can bring a different level of consciousness into your life. And with that, my friends, we have covered the most important events during the following week. Mercury retrograde, Mars ingressing Capricorn, and the new group coaching program Breaking Up With Anxiety begins. Check the links below the video for more information and let us know how do you feel with all of those changes and what do you expect of Mercury Retrograde. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it as always and I'll see you very soon.